Hey guys, this is Ivan. In this video, I'm going to show you what comes in a Nobel BioCare Active Surgical Kit. So if you just got one of these and you want to know what's inside and how you use it, this video will show you. This video is pretty basic. It's meant for the beginner. Uh, I think it could be very helpful information though. So this is the Nobel BioCare Active Surgical Kit. I'm going to go ahead and explain all the parts in the order in which you might use them in actual surgery. So the first thing I'm going to do is switch out this drill extender for this pilot drill because it really doesn't make any sense for the drill extender to be here because you don't use it very often but you do use a pilot drill pretty much every time so I'm going to switch those parts so like I already said this is the pilot drill you're going to use this drill to mark your initial implant location right below it you have all the osteotomy drills starting at 1.5 for the lowest diameter and 4246 for the widest diameter. So here you have this handy little reference chart for which osteotomy drills to use in different scenarios. Um, so for example, let's take this first row 3.0 uh, in hard bone. So what that says is 2 plus 3. That means that you're going to use drills 2 plus 3 when you're placing a 3.0 implant in hard bone. Um, so you might be wondering what these parentheses mean. So for example, in regular platform 4.3 in soft bone, it says 2 plus 3 plus parentheses 4. That means you're going to use drills 2 and 3, and then you're going to use drill number 4, but only to break the cortical bone. You're not going to go to full depth with, the, with drill number 4. So the manufacturer recommended settings for running these drills is 2000 RPM with irrigation. So when you're using these osteotomy drills, you might find that you have to use your drill extender. It's this guy right here. And this is just gonna help you make your drills a little bit longer in case there are neighboring teeth that are preventing you from going all the way to, to depth. So it just clicks on just like that. So over here you have your paralleling pins. By inserting these into the osteotomy site, they help you evaluate the proposed angle of implant placement. You'll see they have a narrow end and a wider end. This narrow end can be used with this second drill right here. Once you go past the second drill, when you use the third drill, you'll have to switch to this wider end right here. And if you drill wider than the third drill, you can use the, the osteotomy drill itself as a paralleling pin. So all you do is put it into the osteotomy site and then it helps you to evaluate. So this top part helps you to evaluate the angle of your implant. So after you use your osteotomy drills, you can use these drill taps to carve out some final threads on your implant site. Nobel BioCare recommends that you run this at 25 Newton centimeters with irrigation. So as you're preparing your osteotomy, you can use this little device to measure um, how deep your osteotomy is. It's got some notches that correspond to different lengths here that are, are, are etched onto the side of the instrument. And also you can run this ball on the walls of the osteotomy to make sure that you have bone all around. So then you're ready to place the implant. And the implant will be placed by these implant drivers right here. This is for the three millimeter, the narrow platform and the regular platform. They come in two different sizes um, depending on what size you need. If you have neighboring teeth that are tall then you might have to use a tall one. Otherwise say this is it's a posterior region in the mouth you might have to use a short one. So if you don't have one of these I strongly recommend getting one. Um, this is used to insert the implant and I just like the degree of control that it gives you. You can hold it real tight just like you like you would hold a screwdriver you take one of these implant drivers, insert it into the tip, attach the implant to the end of this, go to your osteotomy site, and go ahead and just insert the implant by hand. It just offers so much control. I really like this. So if you don't have one, I'd strongly recommend getting one. Of course, you don't have to use the hand driver. You can just, just use a regular hand piece. The way that works is you take one of these implant drivers, insert it into the handpiece, and then plug this into the implant, and you're ready to go. 
So once my osteotomy is all set and ready to go, I'll make sure to have my plastic implant holder ready. I'll set it to one side. And then I'll have an unscrubbed assistant go ahead and unwrap this implant. Take the implant out of its wrapping. And then very carefully, without touching the inside, I'll have them drop it into the sterile environment. Then I'm going to pick up the implant that the assistant dropped into the sterile environment. I'm going to put it on the plastic implant holder. I'll take the cap off and then with my implant driver you can actually you can go ahead and engage the implant. Sometimes it's easier to actually go ahead and get the implant driver spinning a little bit. So I'm going to position it on top, try to click it. If it doesn't click right away I'll spin it a little bit until it engages. Then I'm going to lift off the implant with this little protective metal cylinder and then we're ready to insert. Nobel recommends that you set the torque on your motor to 25 newton centimeters when inserting the implant. I set mine to 35. Once you got your implant all the way in, you can use this guy to do the final torque. So what you can do is take your implant driver, insert it into the tip, insert this into the implant site, and then you can use this little ball to gauge your torque. Sometimes the torque is so tight that you might not be turning it too much with this and you just turn it by the whole by the whole handle so I just want to add a little caveat to that Nobel BioCare recommends that you do not insert implants at a higher torque than 70 Newton centimeters because it could damage the implant or damage surrounding bone I have placed implants at a higher torque and there is literature supporting very high success rates with higher torque values, but I just want to tell you what the manufacturer recommends. I typically try to aim for 40 Newton centimeters. After you got your implant in, you just use this little implant unigrip driver to screw on your healing abutment and you're all set. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you think these videos are, are useful at all, well, hopefully you do, um, then go ahead and click subscribe down below. Um, I'm going to try to make one video per week. We'll see if I can stick to that, but I'll try. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.